Hello everybody, it's me, Sensor Writer, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Syrup and the uh, Ultimate Candy, I think. I think that's the game's name. Let's continue. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pastel, is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Well, you don't see many walking around, so that sounds about right. Hmm. You know, I feel like an idiot, you know, because I haven't clocked, but Pastel is the one that... <laughs> Pastel is the one that made gun drop. It was so painfully obvious, I'm just the only one that has noticed it. So, I'm just as dense as syrup. Penny, for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch's actual skill level is when it comes to this kind of thing. Well, it's like you said, if Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> no. Ask her to tell you who... <laughs> Ask you to tell her who her creator is, since you won't tell me. You're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked. When I was training her for work, so no luck here. No luck there, sorry. <sighs> I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. Was there any particular reason for that? Yeah, I was planning on supervising Gumdrop, working with you. Leaving. The second option seems like there are different routes. Okay, but I I heavily want to say I'm going to supervise Gumdrop. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Oh, I better be able to redo her voice. Do you need something, Syrup? Did I for- oh, I don't know if I'm doing the voice correctly. It, you know, nothing's perfect. Do you need anything, Syrup? Ah, yes! I remember her voice! Do you need anything, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I am interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it is done? So you want to steal my recipes? Not at all! I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience, but if you do not wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I've got my eye on you. I'm definitely gonna find out what your deal is. Bonding with Syrup! Huzzah! Right. Well, you two have fun. <laughs> Syrup's kind of laboratory. Then after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun! There's no secret ingredients. It's just regular hard candy. It is still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out, add some critic acid, oh no, citric acid and color and make it into whatever shape you want before it cools and hardens. Rolling it around is kind of the fun part. Here. When the batch is already, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Sir, for these candies, I would like to use the color we bought together. Oh yeah? Yellow it is then. Hmm... But da da da! Does singing to the can... Uh, does singing to the candy make it taste better? I will join you! <laughs> no, singing has nothing to do with it. That's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candy's appreciated anyway! <laughs> That's enough rolling! Uh, let's wait for them to cool off. Uh, so, it should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait. Would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I will pass. Huh? What, are this, what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I am also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gundrop. I also do not feel pain, so being a candy person does have it, its advantages. Hmm, guess it's just a matter of perspective then, huh? So why you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? Was it just to spy on me after all? I did enjoy it. 
I now have a better understanding of where I come from. Came from. I didn't make you though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me. That witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try buying. <laughs> no, Gumdrop, I ain't about that. Trying to trick me into eating you again, that's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of, what I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I am sorry. Figures, we're done here. Give that tray of candies to bestow. I'm going out for a while. Sir. Sure. Hmm. Bratty witch. Oh, she suddenly came out. Tuffy. What? What do we do? Butterscotch. Cat. What are you doing, cripply looking outside my store? It really, it really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name. Yeah. Don't dodge the question, and don't try to run away. Ahaha, <laughs> <laughs> who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem near. <clears throat> Toffee told me she's doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right, see for myself how diligent she is being at um, spying up close. No! Do not touch the white fool, bro. Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you in my store. I brought some dosh. I can buy your candy if it means I can check out your uh, my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. I don't trust this redhead woman. I should know. Oh, it's the kitty cat from before. Who is your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch Butterscotch. Be careful, she is gracing you with her presence here. Oh, there she is. Such beautiful gummy skin. And oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you made her. Th that's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it, yeah. Absolutely not. You can't. You could have any other candy in here except gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her off to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it for now. Just don't forget who that golem actually belongs to. Me! On earth is happening, Mother Electress? Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross, and you should take this drool as a compliment. <laughs> Come on, Toffee, let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by, we should really just pretend we're closed. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others, Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. When, then, why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magical candies never taste as good as mine. She probably think thinks if she eats enough of them, She'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I do not think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not- oh, what, is it actually just me? Blacking out, or is it actually just like doing that? Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of- being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyway? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants too? For me to be friends with Butterscot so she can get free candy from me? That is not the intention. Sorry, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? 
Master Pistol, I do not think Syrup trusts in me. What shall I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. When she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sai? We'll see. The next morning. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup. I am organizing your bookshelves. Your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't come down here without permission. I start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh. May I come in and... <laughs> you already did! What? But whatever, I, I guess it's fine. Sir, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah? What's that? They are all very boring. <laughs> Gee, thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with reference to magic. Magic, throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I am sensing high... I am sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories. <laughs> the past. Yeah, yeah, see this here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet. A legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating 100 stars, shelf life eternal. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is attained and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet require both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly difficult if not utterly impossible for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet, is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastille I was gonna make it one day so that he could taste it. Like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kinda gave up on it. Master Pastille wanted to eat this? Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Sir, we should make it. Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. You, can, you can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can ask, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely! Alright, Candy Weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make this ultimate sweet without magic. Good. And while Master Pist still eats it, you can eat me! I said it a thousand times. I'm not eating you! Disappointment. Come on, then. We'll need to do some research before we go out gathering um, ingredients. And we're out! Alright, keep an eye out for any in encyclopedias about plants. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next episode. I'm so tired right now. I was literally blacking out. I thought it was the light flashing, but apparently I think it was me. Don't know why that happens to me, but, you yeah, know, it's what it is. Bye-bye, and I hope you enjoy your day.